Premium. I'm Jo and this is Piper and we are in a support bubble. So we are going to be making pancakes today and we have got two pancake related challenges for you. So get your aprons ready and get out your flour, eggs and milk and off we go. Time to make pancakes. <laughs> wasn't supposed to happen was it <gasps> don't think we're going to be using that one in the pancake better go and tidy it up meanwhile why don't you watch this lemon sucking challenge fred tim and ben have taken on the challenge to see how long they can suck a piece of lemon for <sighs> how long do you think you could why don't you give it a go as well this evening See you soon. Four. Three, two, one. Right, well, we've cleaned a mess up. Uh, kitchen's looking nice and clean again, so we're finally going to get to make pancakes. So, Piper, what are we going to start with? Flour. Right, good old plain flour, measure it out and put it in the bowl. Fantastic. Right, any thoughts next? Cinnamon. We've got just a little bit of cinnamon because we want a little Oops. bit of spice, but you don't need this, it's an optional extra. Okay, and Piper, what are we going to have next? Egg. Egg, yes, we need eggs to make pancakes. Right, in it goes then. Right, come and show everybody what it looks like. That's right, is that right? Yeah, I think so. Are you absolutely sure about that one, Piper? Possibly not. Mm, possibly not. No, eggs are good, but we need to break eggs to make pancakes. Sometimes things need to be broken in order to make something good and scrummy. You can't make pancakes with whole eggs. Okay, so what's next then, Piper? Milk. Milk, lots and lots of milk being whisked in a little bit of time. We're using almond milk because we are both dairy intolerant. But obviously you could be using normal milk. Right, what are you gonna do next then? Whisk. Whisk and whisk and whisk until all that lovely flour and egg and milk is all scrubbly, all mixed together, ready to go in your frying pan. Right, now this might take a little bit of time, so we're going to show you what it looks like when it's ready. Here's Piper whisking away really, really hard, adding in just a little bit of the milk at a time until they make a lovely, lovely batter consistency. So while she is doing that, 
we are going to give you a 30 second timer and I want you and your family to go and talk about what toppings do you like on your pancakes. Are you a maple syrup person or perhaps lemon or sugar or do you like savoury pancakes? Personally, I like maple syrup. Piper, what do you like on your pancakes? I like ice cream and sprinkles. Ah, ice cream and sprinkles. I had thought about that one. Right, here you go. You're going to have your 30 second timer. And by the time you come back, our lovely pancake batter will be all ready. consistency looking super super scrummy and all ready to cook now obviously to do the cooking you are going to need an adult to do the cooking definitely if you haven't already had an adult to help you with your ingredients because frying pans get very very hot and it has to be super super careful <music> to make our pancakes and cook them so Piper where are we up to so we have a thin layer of oil all over the base of the pan not too much but just a little just enough now we take a scoop of the batter and we pour it all around we want to make sure that it's nice and spread out because we don't we don't want thick pancakes because they might be raw in the middle yuck Ugh. Yuck, raw, raw pan pancakes are not nice. No, we want thin, <laughs> super fluffy ones. Right, so the fact they're starting to cook around the corner, you can see that because it's starting to go a different colour. So as it starts to cook, you'll see it changes colour. Yep. Right, so we're ready to flip them now. Oh, beautifully flipped. Well done, Piper. No pancakes on the ceiling or on the floor. Press down nice and firmly to make sure all that lovely batter on the other side gets cooked. So while you're waiting, would you like to post in the comments what favourite toppings you have so that we can see what East League likes on their pancakes. I think our pancake now is about ready. So. Let's just check the other side quickly. Ooh, yeah. Wonderful. Excellent, now we've right? We've got a plate here. Here's one we prepared earlier as well. And slide it off. Slide it off onto there. Right, and then, and then turn you're ready to make your next, next one. one. Right. So, we've got another challenge for you flipping pancakes. Why don't you see how many times you can flip a pancake in just 15 seconds? It's amazing how many can be done. We're going to watch Piper and Tiger Blue to see how they get on. And then you can have a go later on. Make sure you use the frying pan when it's good and cold. That way it's safe for you to touch and also when the pancakes are cold too. Then post in the comments below how many you managed to do in just 15 seconds. So here's Piper, she's gonna have a go at the pancake challenge. How many times can you flip a pancake in 15 seconds? On your marks, get set, go. One, it, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12. Time's up. <laughs> How many was that? 12. Fantastic. Well done, Piper. Almost 13, but the timer went off beforehand. Okay, so I've got a second attempt. It was a better pancake. It looks... It's supposed to be pink. <laughs> it's not pink. Okay. Um, it's been an attempt to put this one. Just gonna... Got my 15 second timer here. Let's give it a go. Oh, wow. One, 
two, three, four, five, oh, six, seven, eight. Oh, eight! We got eight, right? I'm gonna do it again. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got ten. bad. In fact, broken can be turned into something yummy, scrummy and amazing. And God is the ultimate at taking broken things and turning them into things that are fantastic and wonderful. And Easter is his uh, ultimate example of that when Jesus got broken on Good Friday. But God did something amazing and wonderful with that on Easter Sunday. And if you want to find out more about that, then come back for our Extreme Easter videos that we will be doing starting on Palm Sunday, which is Sunday the 28th of March at 3.30 in the afternoon. We will also be doing our activity bags to go alongside that, a bit like our nativity bags, with plenty of things for you to make, bake and solve over the Easter holidays. If you want to know more or to sign up, then you can email me on youth at eastleaguechurch.org or text me on 0791 7744025. We hope that you'll come along and find out more about Easter and the amazing things that God has done. But in the meantime, we still need to get through the next six weeks till then. And Lent starts tomorrow, which is why we have Pancake Day because Pancake Day is about using up all the scrummy, yummy ingredients before Lent starts. And Lent is kind of the 40 plus days before we get to Easter Sunday. Now, normally people think about giving something up for Lent, but this year we don't, aren't gonna do that because let's be honest, we've all given up a lot in the last year and it's been a tough, hard year. So we've got a different kind of challenge for you. And this challenge involves Lego! So as we know, this is Pancake Day and it's traditionally called Shrove Tuesday. And it is usually when we use up the yummy scrubby ingredients in our house before Lent starts tomorrow on Ash Wednesday. And that Lent is the 40 plus days leading up to Easter Sunday. And traditionally in the past, it was a time when people would give things up for that time. But let's be honest, the last year has been a really, really hard year, but we have already given up a lot. So we thought we would come up with quite an exciting Lent challenge for you to take part in. And this year it involves... Lego! Who doesn't love a bit of Lego? Or you can use Duplo if you've got that instead. We are going to be posting on Facebook a Lego challenge every day for the first three weeks of Lent. Things that we are going to challenge you to make out of your Lego. And we'd really like you to send in the photos of what you have made so we can put them up on our Facebook page and we can see how we've all got on and how creative and how imaginative you have been. So if you want to take part in that, look out on our Facebook page where there will be more information coming. So Lent always starts in February and February is such a cold, dark month. It is so cold outside and it's so dark when we get up in the morning and it gets dark round about tea time. We can't play out late in the evenings yet. And it just feels like that. But Easter, by the time we get to Easter, it's lighter and brighter. And Jesus said that he was the light of the world. So as we go through the next six weeks, looking forward to Easter and being lighter and brighter, I have a prayer for us. 
God, I thank you that you take the broken things of this world and you are able to make good out of them. And I pray that you take the things that have been broken and hard in the last year and you are able to make good things out of them. And Jesus, we look forward to finding out about you as the light of the world at Easter. Amen. So, go away, enjoy making pancakes, have a go at flipping them or sucking on a lemon, and then post in the comment section how you get on. Look forward to seeing you on Palm Sunday. Bye for now.